Hello and welcome to Old Samwanam. I'm Deborah Pranis. Tonight we take you to the streets of Port Mosby where we give you an insight to the lives of homeless people. We look at how they survive and we ask ourselves, whose problem is it? Most of us enjoy the comfort and security of our homes. Imagine for one moment if you lost the comfort and security of your home. Everything you own is basically everything that's on you right now. I would probably walk aimlessly up and down the street, but definitely not in the dark corners. Most of us can only imagine how it's like to have no roof over our head. But how does it really feel like to be homeless? Tonight, we leave the comfort of our homes and our beds to explore life on the street. As time goes by, you see less people moving around on the street. The sight of security guards on night shift in front of shops and offices is all too common. But they are not the only ones who experience the streets of Port Mosby late at night. We are here now at Waigani and it's almost past midnight. Behind me you can see that the streets have cleared out and there's not much traffic. For most of us, roaming around in the middle of the night would sound dangerous. But how do homeless people get by? At 2 in the morning, we find this old man in his 70s, sitting with his walking stick at a bus stop. He sat on a piece of cardboard box, watching the night unwind with very little or no luxury at all. I asked him what he treasured the most. His response was his small pocket knife. <laughs> Yes, I got my knife here. It's my bodyguard. My bodyguard. I misleep, misleep one time. Me hold him, no misleep. Me kira, me kira one time. How many of us can survive on the streets with a small pocket knife?
Walking the streets at midnight, we come across people wandering on the streets. As the night slowly winds down, there are fewer people on the street. Then slowly, we watch people moving out with cardboards, trying to get a spot to sleep for the night. You may ask yourself how these people ended up in the streets in the first place. And of course, you probably have seen people on the streets begging for money and thought they're just waiting for luck or money to fall from the sky. Well, each homeless person has a story about how it happened. Miss Avi Stab, Miss Avi Stab, Big Money Stab, Papa Stab, Miss Stab, Miss Stab. No one can get no one something with Rin Wara. Rin Wara, Miss Stab. You say Sing Wara, no one at Rin. This is not tape and tap. From a pimlo container, now I come from me. Wara is that. Nathan, you know that money time, you say make you want it. You know you that know money. money. No, no. No, no. no that money, nothing. I ask him. Thank you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Neglected by his children, this poor old man survives mostly on water. He collects water from a nearby tap and stores it in a brown box next to him. I no got teeth. Teeth blew me over the finish. So you say Kai Kai one of them? I say Kai Kai is gone. Kai Kai is gone, no, Mr. Now I've been on you, Kai Kai two or no got? Kai Kai is gone, no, Mr. This old man does not have the luxury of eating all different kinds of food because he has lost most of his tooth. When he has nothing to eat, he drinks water. For this old man, there's one thing for sure. He may not have everything, but he has a strong faith in God. Or something blew me. What do you call something? I'm a bloody. I'm bloody. I'm bloody. I'm now you got supply way where you say making money or no got? No other way, no other way. No, no got through. No good nigga money, Mr. No. He's here, he's there, he's everywhere, he's watching. Me no not get money. Me no got through, no got through. I'm a poor man. I'm poor man, Mr. I'm hungry, I want to say, let me know how to talk to the house. Mr. I'm asking him. He knows. Mr. I'm three years now. Three years. So you think by you stop yet or something? Seeing this old man, I ask myself, how many old people have been neglected, left on the streets to fend for themselves?
Imagine for one moment if you lost the comfort and security of your home. Everything you own is basically everything that's on you right now. Where would I sleep? Should I sleep alone? Or should I make a few friends and probably sleep in a group? And where would be the safest place to sleep? I would probably ask a group of homeless people in front of a shop if they don't mind me crashing next to them. Then at around 3 a.m. in the morning, we come across a little boy around the age of 10. He told me that the safest place to sleep is next to the security guards under the lights. It was chilly that morning, so we offered him some hot tea and some food. us enjoy the comfort and safety of our homes and beds, Press has been sleeping on the streets for the past five months. Why are you choose low city player? You say like low city close to low security or someone else? Uh, we shall like low city close to low security because low police will send me blood and now we can't run against the close to. Now, this day, you can't get one, but I can't do no God. No God. We should leave nothing. Some time, how much per day number of you I sleep one time, no God, I can't get one. Plenty day, we sleep one time, no God, I can't get one. Some time, we can't get one. Some time, we can't get one. No God, we can't get one. No God, we can't get one. Time you know that money straight now you know that kai kai straight you say make one you say steal or you say ask him all man marry or you say make one no got money straight and we just a text send out the freeway in ask him all like coins all man number go come here just ask him all the coins text around so time low one per day you ask him lo tax you say him how much money number sexy five kina six kina and Look, I guess gone. So this like five kina. How you say spend it? You say buy one them something. No one for five kina. So go buy. Um, we go go look around market now. We just come go and turn a cookie. No, we blow out the money. So I guess. How many more children will be forced to the streets, and what parent, in their right sense of mind, would leave their child? to fend for themselves. A life without a roof. What have we done to our children, the so-called future of this country? Yeah. You got how much blood trousers now? How much blood pongs? We got one blood pongs now, one blood pongs, one blood trousers, that's all. So this is one blood pongs now, one blood trousers, that's all you carry them around the other half. Yeah, we should put them all the blood in the car around. You got one blood three months, that's all, but you come up one blood kind man or no God? No, no God. We know each other. We are in time back out. Everything seems so impossible for this little boy. He does not even have a dream. For a poor little boy, the future is full with uncertainty.
a person who is homeless, the first thing that hits them is that nobody cares. Among the men and boys who were homeless on the streets of Port Mosby, you find women and children as well. The women we approached refused to come on camera. They were afraid and too ashamed to talk. They sleep in groups with other women and children to keep safe. I could sense the fear in them. The street is definitely no place for a woman and a child. They all had their reasons as to why they ended up on the streets. Who am I to judge them? Of all those homeless people that I've met, there was this old man who brought me to tears. Despite having nothing, he never stopped smiling. He has a smile that makes you feel that everything is okay. You buy more kai kai blow you, nice put him on this la bag, yeah. Mm -hmm. Night you say sleep time. All months I come steal him or something blow you too, or no god? All steal it too. Or the pukey pike, now she comes for me, we kill him, look at no god. Or the kiss him on the corner. Now all time I fight him you, or this la kind, or no god? No god. So one of time long morning you say kira up. Time sun come and tap in it, so time old man Mary no walk about it, you say kira up. Five o'clock. Five o'clock we kira up. We sit down. Pass by car. Okay. One of time long night, now what time you say silly? I'm six or seven something. Six or seven o'clock long night. Seven now all cars I go come, now man Mary say go come, all say disturb him you too. All the coke up tassel, so all seven is packed like tassel. Mm -hmm. All in the club, all the coke up tassel. It's packed like this. If I kill, I'm going to be set up. So I can spark like all the coffees if I sit. It is still unknown as to how many people are homeless in Port Mosby. And that's all we have time for on Olsem 1M. If you have any comments or stories you would like to share, please send us a message via the email address showing on your screen or visit us on our Facebook page. From the Olsem 1M team, it's goodbye for now.